Hi, I'm John Kennedy and today we're going to try out the new Xperia Neo from Sony Ericsson. Um, this is one of the latest Ginger Android... Uh, I'm just going to start again. <laughs> I'm just gonna start all that again, sorry. Okay, so here we have the Sony Ericsson Xperia Neo, uh, one of the latest crop of uh, Android gingerbread phones to come from the Sony Ericsson stable. Um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's, it's got a lovely uh, long 3.7 inch screen. I'll just give you a comparison with the iPhone. Inevitable, of course, you have to compare these things with the iPhone. Um, the screen is just, just about about half an inch longer than the iPhone screen. So, um, you know, in terms of comparisons though, again, um, just to show you the body of the Xperia Neo, it's um, mostly made of plastic, but don't let that, that, that put you off. It's uh, got this lovely um, blue tint to it. Uh, uh, it's designed really um, to be a phone that I think would suit you in your work life and your personal life um, it, it makes that transition very easily I think um, outer body is a made plastic um, it's nice silver sidings um, you know camera to the front uh, 8 megapixel 8, 8 megapixel camera to the back uh, with a flash uh, capable of taking HD images um, most of the controls are on this side it's the um, right hand side so your volume uh, power Yeah, just by comparison, uh, the Sony Ericsson Neo, uh, it's got this beautiful, um, nice blue tint to it, uh, but it's mostly made of plastic. Now, you could say, well, how does that compare with the iPhone, which is all metal and glass? And I would say, you know what, it makes it a little bit more robust, actually, because uh, I would be more comfortable dropping this and it surviving than dropping this without its bumper. So. Uh, from that point of view, um, you know, don't be, don't let the the, the, the plastic feel to it uh, put you off because uh, you know, inside of this is actually a very very good phone. Um, so just to take you through it, uh, switch it on here. Uh, basically, uh, it's classical Android experience. Uh, well, Android gingerbread experience. Uh, what I love about this is its timescape technology. So all all your messages uh, will just. Uh, whether it's Twitter or Facebook, uh, etc., will all just flutter up here on the screen. Um, then you can shift along into the media center. Um, as you can see, your music, it's got a good. So, quite a nifty little media player there. What's nice about the camera is um, it's got all this technology going on on it. It's, uh, you know, all the functions you'd expect on a typical camera uh, are here. So you can say move to automatic flash, fill flash, red eye reduction, which is quite a, a nice snazzy feature. And then in terms of your own uh, photographs, um, when it says high definition, it really means high definition. So let's show you, we can zoom right in to detail. So it's 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 pretty 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 snazzy camera. I, I think the camera overall is probably its most uh, salient feature. It's 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 fantastic, and again you can cycle between different types of shot styles. You can move to eight megapixel, two megapixel, depending of course what you want to be able to send and, and share, etc. Again, um, it's 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 a, it's a fantastic phone for what for for what it for what it's. Oh, sorry, sorry, I started a bit again. <laughs> um, it's a very, it's a very uh, robust little device, I have to say, and uh, I think one of the other knockout features I found was its battery life. I thought, uh, in terms of battery power, it actually, you know, I, I managed to get two to three days on a trot with this, which is quite good. Whereas most phones, most smartphones on the market today, because of their big screens, etc., tend to just eat up battery power. So uh, it's very good for for the internet, um, for social networking, you name it. It's 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 pretty fast. It actually is capable of about seven point two megabits per second. So if if you, if you really want a good smartphone that that is capable of um, doing all the things you need to do to live your digital life, but also live your own. Um, you know, work life. Uh, you can integrate easily your your um, your your business messaging, your business contacts, 
and then just move on and live your digital life. I, I think the notion of people carrying more phones than they need is a bit stupid in, at this day and age. Um, so what you want really is a good smartphone that helps you to work and play at the same time, and I think the Sony Xperia Neon can do it. And there you have it, the Sony Ericsson Xperia Neo.